Okay, guys, so this is another series that I wanted to start adding in to my series, different series that I'm doing, you know. Um, this one is about mastering a sign, right? So I'm just going to start with mastering the sign of Aries right now. And pretty much all this is, is, you know, we come here and born into a particular sign or a particular pathway. And then the whole point is to graduate from that. The whole point is to overcome the, the, the patterns, the behavior patterns, um, and, and react to react differently to what we face on our path with the sign that we're in. Okay. So for the sign of Aries, like mastering the sign of Aries, mastering the need to be impulsive, the need to lead, not just lead, but lead from the front people. This is the way you think should go. And this is how it has to be. And because I said so, because it's just how it's done. Mastering the sign of Aries takes an individual learning that instead of reacting you know, be, be more of like the observer, be, be more of the observer instead of reacting to things, kind of just step back and observe, observe why are these particular things like, why are they taking place? These particular patterns in my life, why are they taking place? Is there a chance? Is there a possibility that maybe I should do things different, that maybe I should approach these situations that I'm experiencing in my life? Should I approach them differently? And if so, how do I do that? Also taking the time to just lead from the back, you know, like leading through example. And if it's not going to be through example, like giving people that time, like the giving people the, the, the right to do as they choose to do. Okay. And understanding like, Hmm, Hey, 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 you know, it's, it's not about me implementing the way I see things, my plan into the situation. Maybe this is just more about like sitting back, hearing what others have to say, taking it in. If 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 you want to take it in, to keep it in, okay. If not, leave it. So here, seeing Aries master itself looks more like collaboration instead of war battling because sometimes Aries ends up battling in itself and it's very interesting okay to see and to watch because Aries can be very into no, no yeah they are definitely very intelligent people okay very intelligent people now, once you start mastering yourself, like mastering the qualities, the traits of Aries, you look different. Your approach to life is different because instead of being impulsive, instead of being like someone that's more reactive, instead of getting angry about things and just wanting to react and want to like handle it right now, you start to kind of sit back and you start to kind of say, hey, you know what? I'm not going to let certain things get to me. These things don't get to me like how they used to get to me. And even if they do get to me, <clears throat> I'm not going to respond the same though. It's not a rush. Life is not a rush. Life is about lessons, learning. Collaborating with others. Putting the, I don't, like, I don't, I don't ever look at 
it like Aries can't put other people first or before them. That's that's not what I, I don't because they can be Aries can be very um, supportive. They can, but there is a selfish nature to the sign of Aries that is not that is something that you should look at as negative because it benefits you. Like it benefits that sign. Each sign, each energy has the things that benefit them, but then at the same time can be the same very things that, you know, get in their way. That becomes a detriment. You know what I'm saying? So it's not about looking at this is the quality that make you wrong and somebody else right. No, 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 no. Because if you think about it, we all go back. It all goes back to ourselves, our individual selves, and really what we're here and what we're doing here in this particular lifetime. It really has nothing to do with anybody else. We just make everybody else our problems and our issues. You know what I'm saying? But um, the, and the reason why I'm saying this is because it's more about um, learning to put the desires of others <laughs> um, above yourself like above yourself sometimes and not just do that taking someone else's perspective into consideration and going a little bit further than that not only taking into consideration be willing to diminish your own perspective or change your own perspective in the process of it now of course this comes with maturity so anything maturity anything that comes with maturity is wisdom is usually through experiences that we have right so this will be coming, you'll be doing this, implementing this will be coming from a space, being able to come from a space to where you'll know when someone else is their, their means for you or their will for you. It's not good. It's not for the best. Okay. You, you'll know that. Okay. So that's not really what I'm talking about, but what I'm talking about is Hey, sometimes it's not about arguing your point. It's more about saying, hey, you know what? Mm. In conversation, this is someone else's perspective and this is how they see things. Now, I like to be honest with you, like people, it, 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 uh, it also depends on what other placements that you have. But just that kind of balances this type of energy out too. But just walking the path of Aries in this lifetime. It's about learning to step back, take a step back, maybe sometimes take a few steps back and just see like where, like I'm rushing, rushing, rushing. I feel, you know, fulfilling opportunities and I'm at war, <laughs> but where am I rushing to? Where can I slow down? Where can I let go of this desire? And it's not even really a desire. To be honest with you, it evolved Aries comes more from the thought process. Okay. Because you didn't switch over to Mercury being ruled by Mercury. Okay. So where can I let go of or expand in my perspective? Where can I let go of my particular thought process? To, or if you're not going to completely let go, where can I expand? How can I expand my particular thought process, my particular pers perspective to seeing it somebody else's way? And you, you guys is, is pretty straightforward. Like it's pretty, that's pretty much what it is. Although I get it. I get it. That's easier said than done for somebody that doesn't experience life with the type of energy 
that your sign would come in with. Just like I can say that about your sign, I can say that about, or I can say that about the sign of Aries, but I can say that about all the rest of the signs too. So it'll be easier said and done. But when you find yourself mastering that energy, you react differently to everything else in your life. (laughs) And things start to really change for you. More in-depth, depth relationships with people, more being at peace with a peace of mind you know all right so that's it for this video i'm gonna find some light and i will be back